Someone said if you have a dual span, dual band hotspot, you can TX on one band and RX on another. Is that correct? Yes, actually. Mine is actually set up in dual band. Let me see if I can just give me a second here. All right. My hotspot's restarting. So while my hotspot restarts, when it restarts, I'll actually bring up mine and I can actually show you what a dual band hotspot looks like. Now, one issue with dual band hotspots is that uh, there is a little type sleep mode that the hotspots do put themselves in occasionally. And when that happens, you'll actually get repeater not found. Um, I found that once you key up a, a, a talk group or something and there's data going back through it, it wakes it up from that and that goes away. But that is one of the issues currently with uh, the dual band mode or using duplex mode with a uh, dual band hotspot. So that's one of the reasons why we put it in simplex. But um, we not only us, the, the manufacturers of the software are actually working on creating a fix for this as well. So hopefully in the near future here, we can get that up and running. Um, let's see, I believe my hotspot's still start. Oh, my hotspot's up. Okay, so if we could switch my screen. As you can see right here, I'm in duplex repeater mode. And I actually have my transmit and receive on two different frequencies. Now, one thing you'll also notice about this is that when you put it in duplex mode, it also enables time slot one. So you don't just have time slot two enabled, you got time slot one. So that is also another great advantage to using uh, a duplex. What I like to do is I keep changing my configuration for all the live streams and everything, but I usually like to set my emergency channels as time slot one, and then I use time slot two for everything else. So if someone's trying to reach me or an emergency traffic comes through, time slot one's always open for that. That's one reason why I have mine in dual band. But uh, other than that, you know, you can set it up however you like.